G'day everyone, I'm Tim Thompson. I'm out here in the beautiful Yarra Valley in Victoria today at Mount Lilydale Mercy College, a school that is blessed to have its own agriculture program, its own vineyard, its own orchard, its own sheep, goat breeding program. The kids here get to do a cornucopia of things and I'm talking today to Peter Damon, who's the farm assistant at Mount Lilydale Mercy College and makes all of these amazing facilities happen for the kids. Today we're out here to have a look at some posts that have been donated by Woodshield to improve and expand the viticulture program. And we're gonna to talk to Pete a little bit about their program and then find out how he's putting the end assemblies in place using these amazing brackets and the furniture that he's using on the posts to ensure that they maintain their integrity in the ground for years to come. Well, let's start putting in these preservative free plastic coated last for a million years posts and let's see how they all go together. Pete, can you walk us through the process? I can, absolutely. So what we've done is we've put our end post in, 600 in the ground, we're using 2.4 posts. These ones are slightly thicker for your end post, 1.8 out of the ground. We've come up around 900 for our, our support. The strainer post is three meters, which goes down on an angle into the ground. Then the posts are screwed off to keep them secure. There's bolts, so it's very, very easy. It's easy to adjust later on if you need to as well. Now that we've got it in the position that we want, we simply tighten up the bolts on the sides, stays in place to keep it firm and stop it from slipping. We use our tech screw and our tech gun. Now all I have to do is come to the end of the post and cut out around the post, lift out the grass. We dig down to get our angle and we drop our post in. And now we put an end peg in to hold it in place to give you your support. Now we put the dirt back in place, fill it up, put our turf back on top. One of the easiest end assemblies I've ever installed. So Pete, what's it like to work with kids in a school? I love working here with the kids. It's very hands-on, which is not a traditional uh, classroom setting, which is great. It's great to see industry getting behind us to be able to give the kids a practical sense of how things work in the real world. And the hands-on aspect is just ace for them. Now, having some industry support like Woodshield and others um, helping the program, how important is that to you? Oh, it's extremely important to be able to deliver a program that the kids are able to be engaged with and seeing new age technology brought into the classroom yep. and for them to actually implement it when they go out onto a job site, they're already ahead of a lot of industry in terms of what they're using and how they're able to use it. So I'm with Phil Morrison, who's the principal of Mount Lidl Mercy College. Phil, how are you? Very good, thank you, Tim. Thank you for taking time to talk to us today. Now you're in the middle of a vineyard in a school. You're quite unique at Mount Lilydale in that you have a lot of support for agriculture programs, yeah. even though you're a rather urban school. Mm -hmm. Can you just explain to me why you think agriculture is so important in a school? So firstly, uh, we're a school that is at the base of the Yarra Valley. And so we need to recognise that much of the land around us is used for agriculture, whether that's wine, strawberries, flowers, apples, and things of that nature. And so it's really important that we try to support the industries around us. It's also really important that we come to understand that there are tremendous opportunities in agriculture for our kids. Um, there's absolutely no reason why Victoria cannot remain uh, one of the major food bowls for Australia. And indeed, uh, there's no reason why we can't be exporting more and more food. So kids need to understand that agriculture is such um, there's lots and lots of opportunities that I know about. It doesn't matter that they come from 
um, a suburban background, if we can give them experiences and they can go off and get qualifications in agriculture, they can certainly develop for themselves fantastic careers and at the same time develop for Australia what we need. So as part of that, Phil, you've built up quite a few industry relationships with both suppliers and growers within the Yarra Valley. Yeah. Um, and you've become quite a champion for education in that sector. How important is the support of industry in running your program? The reality is we couldn't do what we do unless we had the support of industry all around us uh, as we try to supply casual workers for the industry um, as kids study, they can work. Uh, say to they, they help us by supplying things like these magnificent posts as we lay out an extension to our vineyard. Um, uh, they supply us with a whole range of things. So we couldn't do it without the support of local industry. And so this is a really good example of a technology that can easily be developed. Um, and it's a really good example of using technology to, uh, to improve our facility. So instead of using treated pine or other products that um, have got dangerous chemicals in them, these haven't. These are a fantastic product and I thank um, the manufacturers of them for supporting us. Well, Phil, I'm sure Woodshield will be excited to hear that and they'll be very pleased to know that it's being their product's being used for such a worthwhile cause. Thank you very much for taking time today. You're a busy man and I think the fact that you've taken time today to talk to us about the program is a reflection on how important it is for you. So thank you very much. So I thought I'd better offer to give Pete a bit of a hand digging these holes for these posts. Turns out there's more rock at this school than there is soil. How the literal hell am I supposed to put a post in here? Pete, I don't mind giving you a hand, mate, but do you have any soil in this school? <laughs> all yours, mate, all yours. Pete, I think I found the problem. Keep going, mate, you'll be right. Post's supposed to go there. So I'm glad we finally dug up all the rocks in Lilydale and we've got our posts installed. Now all I've got to do is put my height gauge sticks in place. Now obviously when you use the wood shield posts, you're going to have to upgrade your technology. So we're going to be using some fittings that are most suitable for this post, namely Davos fencing clip, which I've already done a detailed review on. And also the Vinny clip. It's made in Australia. It's a plastic clip that allows you to use a tech screw to affix it to the post. It is stronger than anything put in with a staple um, and it's perfectly suited for using with these wood shield posts. So let's screw that in now. It's a little bit better than your standard clips in that it actually uses a tech screw to affix it to the post. So when you're machine harvesting and things like that, you don't have trouble with the clips being pulled off the post. And to install them, once again, figure out your height, screw straight into the post, done. How simple and easy is that? I know after testing one of these posts in a dam for a couple of weeks, if I put screws in it, there's no water getting in whatsoever. And this post should technically last years and years and years and years and years, despite the fact that it's not treated. And for a school, as Phil was saying before, what a huge advantage not having treated posts in the ground. So I don't know about you, but it fair warms the cockles of my heart to see industry and schools working together to guarantee the education of the future agriculture workers of Australia and indeed any other country that does this around the world. Guys, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button down there, give it a thumbs up. You've got no idea how much that helps the channel. And don't forget, I've got a website for curated content, contacts for Woodshield posts. Get on to me if you want to find out more about this wonderful school man at Little Mercy College and more. Until next week, guys, see you then.